The composer Karsh Kale creates lush electronic music using traditional Indian instruments. That sound has made the Indian American musician a star of the New York club scene. Recently, Karsh Kale has become a top film composer in India, and that means long flights between the U.S. and that country. And that's what inspired his latest album called Cinema, as NPR's Bilal Qureshi reports. Two floors above the bodegas of Sunset Park in Brooklyn. Karsh Kale walks me through his digital orchestra. Here we have uh, like staccato okay. cellos, right? And then there's uh, this horn effect sound, just to add drama. He's in the middle of some musical outsourcing, flurrying to finish a new score with his partners in Delhi for a big budget Bollywood action film. Once I'm done with what I have to do over here, I send it to Delhi. And then we send it to Bombay, where they're mixing the dialogue and the sound. Kale has become one of India's hottest film composers through the music he's written here, a frenetic fusion of his tablas and drums with swirling electronics. Kale says the transition to working in film was an easy one. My favorite songs would inevitably become movies in my head. And images in my head would inevitably inspire songs that I would write. It always comes from a, a feeling, a color, a, a space, a landscape, something that I was able to take in visually and then I could express. Kale's latest album opens with an image of an island surrounded by an ocean. It's also a fitting start for a record that Kali wrote while traveling alone, in airport lounges, on long flights. I tend to write a lot of stuff out when I'm on planes. I make lists. And I'm into stuff when I'm traveling, so I, I tend to take an idea and kind of run with it. These layered soundscapes begin as small ideas, often worked out on his iPhone. This is my iPhone, which is a program called iTabla Pro. He also uses a guitar he's retuned to sound like a sitar. And so begins the title track from Cinema. I, you know, when I'm playing, I have no idea if it's going to go anywhere past this, these, this sound of the guitar and maybe an instrument and maybe a tabla. And then as I keep playing, it, then, it, then I start to hear an orchestra and I start to hear this female vocal and I start to hear the flute line and I can see it before it, even the session really starts. Kale grew up in Long Island. He wanted to be a rock or jazz musician and taught himself how to play several instruments. He also fell in love with Indian classical music. My music is definitely a, a reaction to growing up feeling alien, growing up feeling alienated. Now he says he doesn't have to make a choice about where he belongs. He's composing music that evokes what it's like to live in various worlds at the same time. For instance, one song on the album is inspired by car trips he'd take with his family on the New Jersey Turnpike, where the kids wanted to hear you too, and the parents wanted to hear this. The inspiration was the memory of driving around America, driving around, hearing this music mix with the music of, of, of America, and then kind of creating something from that. Kale says that all of his journeys bring him back to New York. That's what's always kind of keeping the music alive, is that balance, that kind of pendulum swing that, you know, I, I do find myself immersed in India for a while, but there is that moment where I feel like it's time to go. You know, I have a bit of a, bit of a Batman thing going on in India. It's like, okay, the end of the movie, 
I, I'm going to hop in my car and get out of here now. Go back to the Bat Cave and rethink this thing and then come back with some new ideas. Karsh Kale emerged from his Brooklyn Bat Cave last night, opening his cinema tour at New York City's Highline Ballroom. Bilal Qureshi, NPR News. You can hear full-length tracks from cinema at nprmusic.org. It's All Things Considered from NPR News. News.